Maybe this Mosasaur is going to- Oh god! Okay, never mind! I'll take it back! Hello everyone and welcome to a special look at all of the aquatics that have been released so far in Jurassic World Evolution. The game, of, of course, I, hasn't came out just yet as, as of recording, uh, but Frontier have been very nice, very kind to give me exclusive access, you know, to, to sort of get content ready uh, for the embargo date. So here we are in what I can only call my aquatic research facility. So we're going to take an in-depth look at every creature. Uh, they've all got different skins on, and uh, we'll also of course, end it in the only way that I think we can end it, and that is releasing them all into one enclosure and letting them just fight and have fun, you know, all, all of the good stuff. So first off, we're going to take a look at the creature that's lowest on the pecking order, and that is, of course, unfortunately for it, the Ichthyosaurus. Turns out that it's not, but we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, this is the little, little dolphin thing. So we're going to release them one by one and I've put a pattern on it and it looks absolutely gorgeous. So one thing right off the bat when it comes to aquatic creatures um, is that you really can't do much with them. Uh, this is how they look and this is pretty much it. You can't change the enclosure. You can add fishes, you can add viewing domes and... Um, and it's also floating out of the water. Uh, that, that is, I'm, I've never seen that before. <laughs> oh, well, we've got a, we've got a, a flying ichthyosaur. That is amazing. Well, the first one I show him, we got a glitch that will probably already patch out. <laughs> oh, anyway, uh, so we'll have a quick cycle through of all the other different colors. I think this is, that's the base one. I think we saw this. Uh, we've seen this before. It might have been a glitch just with the way the land is, and he's also going to do it. Wow. Well, anyway, have we got another one that's not flying? Here's a different skin tone. Uh, can we have a look at what it is? It should show us uh, what we've added onto it. So all of these, I mean, every creature in the game uh, has, like... Um, traits and stuff that are bad and you need to genetically modify them to make them all right uh, and all of these should be uh pretty good uh so we've got a paler green one here uh so there should be five in here and that is the other skin that we saw with the striped one these little guys can pretty much be killed by anything <laughs> Uh, they're very low on the pecking order. Uh, I've played this game for about 30 hours now, and I've had to make everything in order to uh, showcase it to you right here. You see, that's what they should be doing, just sticking out of the surface. There you go. Not, not actually doing what that was doing and flying out of it, but they look absolutely gorgeous. Pretty sure I lowered all the stands. Oh, well, anyway, here we go. Will we be able to see any is the question. No. Oh, there's one kind of off in the distance. Their ginormous eyes are beautiful. Uh, they're, they're not too fussed. This enclosure, I think, is just two um, lagoons put together. And if we have a look at their preferences, it's a little bit small, but that's probably because there is um, five of them in here. So two is not the best idea if you want to house them. So let's move on to the next creature, which I think is what I want to do here. The please, you saw. Here we go. Let's release. So all the ones I'm releasing will have the pattern on them. And every creature, and I think every dinosaur in the game at the moment, has two options for patterns. And that's a base one, meaning no pattern, and a stripe. So this one should also have a stripe pattern on it. Uh, please, you saw was one of the first creatures I think I got in the game when I was like sort of base uh, testing it out. And there you go! Whoa! That looks so cool! So these guys have the snake pattern head to them. Uh, we'll see how they're doing. So he's probably still forming territory um, as they're going. Uh, if we have a look. There you go. Okay, so the, the space is probably too small. Yeah. So it seems like most aquatic creatures need at least three lagoons unless they're by themselves uh, to be happy. So we'll have a quick look at the other skins. That is the this is the lovely base skin. Love the sort of King Cobra head that it's got going for it there. Uh, we've got a dark green one. We've got a... Ooh. So every aquatic creature starts with four. They have four base colors. Um, and I think when you um, you play campaign or at least uh, challenge mode, uh, you unlock other skins with it. Uh, so in order to unlock skins, I think every creature probably has one extra skin. 
really not too sure about it. Um, but they all start with a base of four. So we got like a dark skin there. And then we got the red skin. And then we got this skin with the pattern on it. So you can imagine that pretty much all the other skins are basically the same as this one with this pattern, just alternating color. And I've got to admit, I thought they were all going to be stripy because the uh, the preview showed that they were all stripy, but obviously not. Uh, but I think I prefer them with uh, the pattern on it. They, they look gorgeous anyway. Um, so out of all the aquatic creatures that we've seen so far, they get thumbs up. I like these guys. We're about to tread into some weird territory now, though. So we've seen the plesiosaurs. How about we look at um, something that actually has been previewed in the countdown, and that is the Lyplurodon. So let's have a look at Lyplurodon. Tell me what you think. Here we go. Yes, there it is. The crocodilian headed skin. It's basically a crocodile with flippers. Um, I mean, cool, I guess. I mean, it looks gorgeous. I will admit, for what it is, it looks gorgeous. But at the same time, it kind of is just a crocodile. <laughs> um, so it seems like the, the designers for this game went with two styles. They either went for baby smooth and snake-like, or they went for crocodilian-like. Um, and here we have crocodilian. Now, I don't know how paleo-accurate this is. Again, we're talking about, you know, Jurassic World. Are we going to get paleo-accuracy? No, we're definitely not. <laughs> also, check to make sure we are recording, because I've had errors in the past. But we should be good this time. Fingers crossed. So, we'll have a look at the other patterns. So, we'll go to the base one. Uh, base one looks quite nice. Go to the other one. It should be able to tell you what they are. Maybe I'm just missing it. Uh, it should be on here, but it's, it's not telling me. It's not in there. So, actually, yes, we should be looking at the likes and dislikes. So, they like small marine reptiles, um, but dislike tylosaurs and marine medium. Basically, like Plurodon gets on with plesiosaurs, um, but it will kill ichthyosaurs. Everything, in the, everything you'll see will kill ichthyosaurs, unfortunately. Um, so it doesn't say marine medium. So I think the only small marine uh, reptile is the uh, ichthyosaurs. Uh, I do want to just have a look back at those guys just to see what they like. Uh, we've got a dark color there, almost brown to black. And then a green one. And then back to this one. Those two are the same pattern. Oh, we need a feeder resupply. Oh, dear. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of red on it. It's It's up to you really all these creatures also feed on fish only the only creature aquatic uh, creature that feeds on the shark feeders you know jumps out and eats the shark is the mosasaur itself so we'll have a quick look at the plesiosaurs because i didn't have a check at this either it uh no like species and dislikes marine small so basically it will either kill everything or get eaten by everything and i'd love to see what the uh ichthyosaur uh, I'm pretty sure it'll just be nothing. Yeah, nothing as well. Bless it. Oh, that, I mean, we're seeing almost in a different light here. There you go. Like, Plurodon is the start of the, um, the crocodilian. And how about we keep going with the crocodilians? With a Lasmosaurus. Uh, another creature that was kind of held to the end and only uh, spoken about in one interview that wasn't, uh, it was, I don't know, it was like some sort of game, game article where they interviewed um, one of the lead designers and I think uh, heads of uh, this project, Russell World Evolution 2. So let's have a good close-up look at you. And also there's drones, as you can see here. They sort of go out and they'll uh, dart anything that needs to be darted um, or refill fish feeders. So this is the biggest of the plesiosaurs in the game. And again, it's been dragonified or crocodilianified. Um, it likes small marine reptiles, probably because it will kill them. Um, and uh, don't be f don't be fooled by that. I've released uh, compies into raptors. Raptors say they like compies and they just eat them. It likes them because it eats them, basically. And I think that's what's happening here. The only small one. Uh, this is a medium as well, which is interesting because it's actually quite big. So it's got the pattern as well, which is the red on it. If we go backwards, we see it without a pattern on it and there you go oh floating again out there it's beautiful it's probably because i flattened all of the area and it's still like playing off the original unflattened land which will probably be patched so we'll go to the base genome there it is sand beige beautiful 
Um, this is a green. It, it kind of looks similar to the beige. It's it's a little bit darker. Okay, it's a little bit darker. And the other one is completely it's an albino elasmosaur. Beautiful. And then we go back to the pattern one. Let me know. What is your favorite so far? We only have three left to show. And how about we take a break from the dragonified creatures to Attenboroughsaurus. Of course, named after David Attenborough. I'm also getting a phone call. Oh, no. I need to close that. There we go. <laughs> there it is. It, oh, it looks chunky. It's got... You can only get this in the Deluxe Edition. He forgot to mention that. A tiny head. So this is a bit of a mixture between the snake and the crocodile. I don't mind it. It's, it's this one that I think is supposed to be a large. No, it's a medium as well, but I like this guy. Yeah, look at that head. It looks gorgeous. Um, like small again and dislikes medium again. It, it, basically, everything kills Ichthyosaur. And then they either cohabit or they don't. Um, I think Elasmosaur kills these guys. Pretty much, you can't put any aquatic creature in with another one. Um, unless, I mean, you can, but they will eventually kill it. It might take, you know, 10 minutes. It might take an hour. It might, might take two hours, but they will eventually kill them. Uh, which is a bit unfortunate, but I love this color. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Uh, let's have a look at the base color. Not bad. I like the... I don't know what you call it when it's lighter on the underneath and darker on top. We got a green version. I think, can I can I show that and hide? Hide the statistics? I can. Okay. Um, and then the lighter one. And then I think that's the same. Yes, this one has the pattern, which is very, very vague. As you can see here, it's just on the uh, the ridges there of its skin. Yeah, and this is it without it and with it. So, subtle. I think, basically, if you want to see a dinosaur have more detail, put the stripes on it. Because otherwise, it's just that. I mean, it looks nice. Really cool. Um, hopefully, we can see some of these feed. Um, I think the requirements are pretty good, though. I think I've hidden them. No, they will eat. They will eat. Um, but I mean, you basic. Oh, there's the drone! Look at it go! Kind of want to just get a nice look at the drone there. I don't know where he's going. He's probably going to the feeder. That's what he's doing. He's probably coming over here. Uh, there, look at it. Ah, oh, that's so cool. So I was wondering how you dart and you, uh, you sort of, um, like interact or heal the flyers and the aquatics. And this is how you do it right there. So, Attenboroughsaurus, out of all the plesiosaurs, is probably my favorite. Ooh, that sounded nice. Uh, next one, I think, ooh, I think, is it feeding? I mean, if we just have a look, content, content, content. Yeah, they're all content. Favorite one out of the plesiosaurs is definitely Attenboroughsaurus. Second is plesiosaur, followed by elasmosaur, and then followed by, like, Plurido, very low. But we haven't seen the large carnivores yet. How about we take a look at Tylosaur? That's right, Tylosaur was the hidden one. Here we go in the second smallest one, or second biggest, I should say, Tylosaurus. Also, I've put them all in with their max uh, eggs, so you'll be able to see what they hatch like. So here we go, Dragon Syndrome. Oh, it's all like knobbly and I don't know. It's 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 chippy and rugged and spiky, and that is the Tylosaur. These guys. Again, they all kind of work together, most species. I think it's only uh, Mosasaur which doesn't like to be with its own kind, or at least you need a big open space to have multiple Mosasaurs. So this is uh, the first large, population five. Dislikes uh, like Plurodons in particular, I don't know why, and Marine Large. I, they're, they're very, I mean, maybe it'll be patched, I don't know. It says it likes small ones, but I'm pretty sure this will eat, eat Ichthyosaur. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. So there it is with its pattern. It's moving really quick, actually. When I first made these, I thought that um, they were going to be able to eat out the shark feeder. Turns out, no. And this is what we thought was a megalodon. Fish, ammonites, and other water-dwelling life forms. Oh, lovely. We've also got... Oh, let's have a look in here. We'll lower the stand and show you. So I think when I saved it and I logged back in, I put all the stands down, but then they all just automatically went back up. Uh, again, it's really hard to see out of these things. It's a cool concept, 
but because the lagoons have to be so freaking big in order to house something, uh, you need to put the fish or something nearby them so you can actually see. Otherwise, this is your view. And it's, it's not the best. <laughs> I'll admit it's not the best. Uh, so let's have a look at all the different colors and schemes. So we've got a brown one there. Oh, God. How do I how do I change again? There we go. Left arrow. That's it, James. we got the green one. I think this is the one with the pan. Or maybe it's not. It's Talisol 2. Uh, we've got one hidden in the dark there. Oh, there we go. A little bit of green. And then the one which is red. And then this one should have the pan. Yeah, there you go. So it's it's got a very I don't know. It's it. I feel like I'd touch it and it would it would be like a very hard leather. Um, oh, it's hunting prey. Oh, let's see it hunt prey. Oh, did it just eat it? I think I think we just saw it eat its prey, and it just goes and and the final Mosasaur is the king of the sea. The only one that you can only get a batch of one. So this is pretty much the best you're gonna see. Also, every time you release dinosaurs, it changes the view. And it, oh, I love it. Yeah, look at it. Gorgeous. I love that they've actually played with the way the camera is. Instead of just to set like three, you know, like three different angles, they actually move the camera around just to show the colossal scale of these creatures. So this is a Mosasaur with a pattern on it. Uh, we'll have a look at what it likes. It likes small, again, just so we can eat them. And marine large, it doesn't like, which is basically itself. It's just talking about Tylosaur. It's, and the thing is, right, you've got marine medium, but that's not listed here. So does it like it or not like it? I'll, I'll give you a hint. They don't like them. They will eat them, basically. So most sort of, again, being the only creature that will be able to eat out the shark feeders. So I think this is the base genome. Very, very green. Uh, second one. Ooh, a lovely brown. Almost like a Mosasaur Gen 2 from Jurassic World, the game. Uh, and we've got another greeny one. Uh, and this is the one without the pattern. And then this is the one with the pattern. Gorgeous. Not really much to report. I mean, that has a pattern on it. And I think it's really only visible on the, the spikes. Oh, 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 there you go. That is how you turn a Mosasaur. Oh, it's feeding. Oh, we're going to see it eat from the... Uh... Yeah, here it comes. Uh, rebellious. <laughs> But that is the Mosasaur. So, that is all of the aquatic creatures. Let me know what's your favorite. But it wouldn't be viewing all of the creatures if, you know, we didn't put them all in the same enclosure. So, let's release Ichthyosaurus instead. This is eight, the max batch you can see. And let's have a look at all of them. Yeah, look at them. That, like, this is the most satisfying bit when you just see them all come out. <gasps> it looks so cool. So there they go, the prey, off you go. I mean, I'm hoping in the future we get stuff like the Shastasaurus, you know, which was the massive Ichthyosaurus. Uh, Megalodon, I know I'd really love to see a Megalodon. Maybe we won't because it's not a reptile, but I don't know. It's been in stuff like Jurassic Park Builder, Jurassic World, the game. It has been in universal franchise games. So, oh God, what? Ah! <laughs> Jesus! Uh, but uh, there is a chance that we will see Megalodon. More than a chance. I wouldn't be surprised. So, uh, what else have we got? Lyplurodon. The most amount of Lyplurodons that we can release. Five of them. Yeah, sometimes you get cameras that are above the ocean. Uh, the only way to get under it, under to see into the lagoons, is to actually click on a aquatic creature. Wait, what's he doing? Oh, oh okay. Kind of locked into a camera angle. It's a shame we couldn't see it underneath the water, but actually this kind of looks cool. Yes, look at the... Oh my god, there's five! <laughs> I thought there was only four, even though I just said there was four. Ah, this is what happens when you're sleep deprived and you're actually starving. Let's release three Elasmosauruses. The max you can do for a batch. You see, that's way cooler. So they do often change the way they come out, depending on how many there are. Um, some t I mean, I think so anyway. I think there's probably like three, two or three base um, ways that a creature can come out. Oh god, there's the drone. And oh, look at them. Oh, this is about to get hectic. Let's release two more. So instead of three, we got two. And does it change? Uh, there was definitely one up in front, which could be that, I suppose. 
Okay, so they won't attack each other at the moment. So, oh, let's have a look at Tylosaur. Tylosaur 3 batch! I mean, I haven't even seen these, so this is gonna be cool. Ooh. I think that's if you just release one, this guy. Oh, that looks so- it's so bad. It's like friggin' Avengers or something. Where they all come out, it's like, you need some music. Five Atomborosauruses to release here? Oh, yeah, so many aquatics. I don't even know what to do for the thumbnail. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is so bad. Oh, I thought the Cronosaur was going to eat him there. I haven't seen them fight each other at all, so I am looking forward to this. Uh, what's in here? Oh, five more Atomborosauruses. <laughs> Basically... I think that there is a limit on the way you can play this game now. It felt like with the first game, you could have hundreds of dinosaurs and it would be okay. It might lag a little bit. But this game, because they're, they're all like real time working off each other and stuff, and they're not, you know, standing still and killing each other. Um, the game I've experienced a little bit more lag than maybe what would be normal. So here we go. Four plesiosaurs. Ooh, a different angle. Oh, this is so much fun. I love it. Oh, the side view of them. Gorgeous. This is a big lagoon, though. Uh, and once we turn on the fighting, I'm sure it's all going to go to heck. We're probably going to be following one creature and then it's going to be eaten by... Look, they're already panicking. You can tell... Oh, there he goes, panicking right. He's like, oh, Lord! <laughs> There's so much stuff. I haven't even introduced the one that's going to kill you all. And another batch of eight ichthyosaurs. Oh, this is going to be so fun. <laughs> Uh, I bet as soon as they come out, they just panic, right? It's roaming. It's where it's content at the moment, actually. Interesting. Has it finished its swim? Oh, there we go. Now it's panicking. Now it's kicked in. Now it's kicked in. And let's release the Mosasaur. The now, the Mosasaur, I'm pretty sure, can't be killed by anything because this thing is absolutely ginormous. Gargantuan. Kaiju, even. Oh, don't even hear its roar because it's underwater. I think you would hear it underwater, wouldn't you? And uh, just, uh, thank you again to Frontier. Oh, thank you for supplying this. Mm. Got something to drink me tea out of now. So, yeah, as you can see, shared with Tylosaur does not like. It says it doesn't mind like Plurodon, Elasmosaur, and Anborosaurus. It's a lie, because it'll eat them. <laughs> I mean, it says it doesn't mind it. And it likes Ichthyosaurs, because it's food. It'll probably just swallow it in one gulp. Uh, let's release another Mosasaur, because... We just like to th see things die, don't we? Uh, oh, and the five plesiosaurs already as well. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Let me just look from the sky. Oh, it's... um. You can see the ones panicking there that are uh, churning the water a little bit. And here's another five plesiosaurs. And then, should we just follow one? We'll follow one creature and just see what happens once we turn the fighting on and stuff like that. We've already got three on low health, but I'm assuming that's the plesiosaurs in the other paddock, because um, I don't think there's been enough time for something to starve to death here. Oh, maybe there has. Maybe there has. No, there hasn't. There we go. Oh, it's... Oh, there's a load of them. Okay, let's just grab something and have a look in the water there. Oh... Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at them all. It's like we're, we're, we're Nigel Marvin swimming with the creatures. Oh, this is amazing. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. I kind of want to follow an ichthyosaur because he's probably going to be the one that's going to swim about the most and is most likely to be eaten. Who do you think we could break the game? That's also an option. <laughs> Have I made too many creatures? I wouldn't be surprised if I've made too many creatures and I'm just gonna crash the game every time now. <laughs> oh, we're good. Things are gonna start happening. Right, I wanna, I wanna find an ichthyosaur. Here we go, here we go. Let's get an ichthyosaur. Let's just watch. Yeah, their comfort's going down now. <laughs> we got one death so far. Or maybe we should follow a mosasaur. Uh, oh, an undiagnosed ailment. Oh, they're getting ill and stuff now. Oh, this is good. Here we see a little ichthyosaur. We'll turn off that and just see how he does. Really, this creature should be with a shoal of its own kind. However, it's finding itself out in the open. It also looks like it's swimming way quicker than it should be. Um, I mean... Oh, look, there they all are. They sort of congregate together. Oh, maybe there is a pack instinct or something like that. 
Oh, it looks like he's calm now. Is he calm? No, he's still panicking. He's probably just... Oh, he's running low on stamina. Ah, that might be a thing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Mosasaur. Oh, oh, look at all the Elasmosaurs sticking together as well. Maybe they do. They do move in herds. Oh, should we make... Sh oh, we should probably turn off the starving thing so they actually get hungry. Hunted... Oh, the Plesiosaurs do get hunted by thing. I thought they were the ones that hunted the... um. The what? Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they wouldn't be killed by the ichthyosaurs, but apparently they do. Oh, lovely shot of the coronasaurs there. See, I'm so used to... S I look at that face and I think that's a coronasaur. Like a... That's like the crony. It looks like a crook. <laughs> like a crocodile. No, nope, that's a liplurodon. How could they do this to you, my baby? I, I, I'd much prefer the walking with dinosaurs one. Oh, I can't wait for mods to come in. Well, seeing as apparently the plesiosaurs are the one I should be worried about, maybe we'll follow one of these guys. So far, only one out of all of these guys has died. Everything else seems to be getting on. I'm just hoping they don't starve to death. Oh, there's the drone. <laughs> it's absolute chaos here. Maybe there's too many. Maybe they just won't fight or won't kill each other. I tell you what, it is is—it is a, a breathtaking thing to behold. It is gorgeous in here. Oh, oh look at the size between Attenboroughsaurus and Plesiosaur there. I always thought they were the same size. It's, it's definitely not the uh, battle royale I was expecting. I'll, I'll give it that. I mean, how are they doing for open space and stuff? Oh, the area's actually okay for them. Uh, it's just that they're missing fish and cohabitation, which is on 222%. But the, the, the open space, I think, is all right. We've got something with an ailment there. Something big. That's got to be a Mosasaur, right? Yes, of course it is. Right, your population's okay because you've got two, but you need shark feeders. And you just don't like Tylosaur. I tell you what, there's nothing near the Mosasaur. It's like everything is deliberately avoiding them. Yeah, look at this. They're all hiding up here away from the Mosasaur. Oh, oh, this must be the Ichthyosaur that killed the Plesiosaur. That's what I'm assuming. Because he's got an ailment. It's undiagnosed. His health's pretty low. Maybe when it gets to a point, something will pick. Okay, we're back. And this time, nothing is released. So I think it was an issue that, um, I work with the oh god, here he goes. Here's Owen Grady talking to me when I work with dinosaurs. It's not even Owen, you're Garfield now. Or Mario, just not yourself, apparently. Um, but yeah, I think the problem was that it was just too many creatures. And that's the main difference between this game and the first one. Is that because everything is so uh, interactive... And like bounces off each other that when there's just so much like literally the game can't handle it um so it's like okay i think the 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 balance between having so many dinosaurs but limited animations and now better animations but now you can't have as many dinosaurs i think i'd rather have that i'd rather have that than like loads of dinosaurs that just are potato cutouts of each other you know what i mean so we saw that the plesiosaur did not like the ichthyosaurs. So what are we going to do? Of course, we're going to release the ichthyosaurs with the plesiosaurs. And hopefully we'll see some battles between the two. Because they were the ones that instantly attacked each other. And I think um, if the game could do it and could handle it, we would have seen loads of attacks happen. Because as soon as I, like, released everything and turned the option on, there was instant death. So the plesiosaurs lost out to the ichthyosaurs. So we need to keep an eye on this and just see if something happens here. Now, they don't have any food, so I don't know if they eat each other or if they just attack each other. I think it's probably just attack. Don't know what that guy's on. Where are you going? What are you doing? Oh, I feel like I've got to be vigilant now. I can't tell where they've all sort of split up from each other. Oh, that could have been something. It could have been. The thing is now, these creatures, they don't have like a tell like the other game did where they'd be like, oh, I'm going to present my butt to you. Whereas these ones, they just sort of like walk around normally. I think maybe with the land dinosaurs, there is a bit more of a tell. But I, like I said, I haven't even seen how these guys interact to each other. So right. Okay. Now the cohabitation starting to be an issue. It's cool just flying around in the water, to be honest. Whee! 
Hey! Oh, we might have something. No. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Oh, it looked like that might have been a battle, but it wasn't. <laughs> oh. This guy's got injuries on him. How did that happen? Maybe, maybe I missed something. Did they actually have a fight? Okay, because there's only four of them. Right. Okay, this... This poor booger has been in a fight and I missed it. Oh god. Yep. We got a dead one. I'm assuming that's a plesiosaur. Oh no, it's an ichthyosaur. Killed by a plesiosaur. See, it can go either way. Interesting. Oh, 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 there it is. Oh, man, that's how it happens. Oh, damn, I didn't know it. <laughs> right, that was really far away that they just sort of went for each other. Oh god, there's another one. Oh. I don't, oh, he killed him! Oh, 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 down he goes. Oh, don't know where he went. <laughs> Is he going to float back to the surface? Yeah, he's slowly going to the surface. Okay. So it's like a quick, like, bite. One one of them bites the other one, and then that's it. It does seem to be the plesiosaurs are winning, though. Hunted down by ichthyosaur. Okay, there's not many plesiosaurs left. Oh, oh. Is he going for one? He's swimming really fast. Oh, oh again. Bite on the face. Oh, I think it's dead. Yep. It. What? <laughs> Splash! Oh well, there you go. We lost another one. He's <laughs> twisted, twisted round. Is it? Oh, I think he's he's locking on. He's locking on. No, he got bit as well. No, I haven't seen the battle the other way round. Okay, what about the other one? No, we got one dead. Right, two left. Oh, oh the, no, the plesiosaurs are getting ripped apart. Only two plesiosaurs remain. And they're, they're not looking in the best of shapes. This guy looks very pale. Oh, the bite on the head. Not quite. And he's gone. There's only one left. Oh, it looks like it might be starting to fight with this. Oh, that one. Oh, it's going to be this one. Oh, God. Yeah, they don't stand a chance. These people. That's it. Plesiosaurs out. Oh, dear. So, in the end, one, two, three, four plesiosaurs died. And uh, one ichthyosaur died. A Mosasaurus. I think this should pretty much easily clean up uh, the ichthyosaurs. But we'll see. Maybe it's a vegetarian. Can't imagine it would get very far if it was a vegetarian, but you never can tell. Who am I to question? Oh, look at that refraction. That looks so cool. Hey, I'm Isaac Clement. Together, we'll create the most spectacular dinosaur park imaginable. And hopefully not die in the process. <laughs> Really, I don't want to die. Oh, we got one. Oh, I just saw it. Oh, God, eats it whole. <laughs> oh, what was that it said? What did it say about uh, liking things? Oh, it likes ichthyosaur. Yes, it likes to eat them for breakfast. Oh, yes. There it goes. Come, 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 come. <laughs> just eats it whole. Nothing stands a chance. However, I do want to see how it fares against an elasmosaur. Hold on, let's just get their bodies out of here. I don't think they can eat carcasses, but they do eat things whole. Now, actually, did that affect it? No, I don't think eating the ichthyosaurs actually gives it any food. Oh, 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 things, oh, I don't know. Yeah, he's going to go for it. <laughs> oh, wow. That looks so cool. How does it do? against an elasmosaurus or two. I guess this is how we're going to have to do the battles, unfortunately. It's kind of scary, actually. Like, not seeing stuff. Like, I don't know where this mosasaur is. And the ichthyosaurs are just slowly dwindling down. <laughs> oh, what do you like? Oh, no, you like ichthyosaurs. Huh. You just don't like marine medium. Oh, that'll be the Lyplurodon. Okay, so these guys shouldn't attack anything. Or maybe they will attack the ichthyosaurs because they like them a bit like the mosasaur likes them. I know what's a medium as uh, a marine reptile is the chronosaur. Seeing as we've lost all of the ichthyosaurs at the moment. Here. Oh my god, that looked so cool. You see, that was a better view. That looks awesome. Wow. Look at that. Oh, there's so many of them. That looks so cool. <laughs> Now that's a shot. Damn. Right, so these are mediums, and I think the elasmosaurs won't like them. Yeah, elasmosaur, they don't like each other. Right, let's see if we get... Oh, we have interactions already! 
Jesus! But it's it's kind of the same as it is with um what you call it? The uh please your sores. Oh the Elasmosaur didn't get off there like it's on 24% and the Lyplorodon's on 71%. Yeah, he's looking pale. He's probably got some like internal bleeding or something here. Oh, here it is. Oh, no. Yep, and it's gone. Now there's only one left. And are you also dying? Yeah, yeah, you're also going to die too. Oh, when you pause it as well, the way they look like they're floating. Yeah, he's going for it. And bam. And there you go. So Cronosaurus, or sorry, Lyplorodon, kills a lasmosaur but i know which creatures don't get on and that is mosasaur and tylosaur so let's see what two giant mosasaurs look like when they're they're not very happy with each other release the tylosaurs i'm expecting tylosaur to lose this battle seeing as it's probably half the size of them as a regular mosasaur but you never can tell yeah, mosasaur gets on with like plurodon so there, there are some combinations that work i mean we'll see maybe this mosasaur is going to oh god okay never mind we'll take it back if they don't it just killed it <laughs> just after i say they get on Look, okay, nothing gets over the Mosasaur. Mosasaur kills everything. Wait, did it just turn around like 90 degrees to get the... <laughs> it did as well. <laughs> no! Beautiful baby. Well, it's killed the last Ichthyosaur. Let's see. Oh, yes! It take on the Tylosaur. Oh, my God. It just rips it. And it's dead in one. <laughs> oh, my God. Just straight for the body. That was right after killing an ichthyosaur. And it just went for the tylosaur. Yeah, they don't stand much of a chance. A mosasaur will kill everything. It don't matter what it is. I'm pretty sure I've, I might have seen it kill the plesiosaur the same way it eats the uh, ichthyosaur in one. And I'd hazard a guess that it pretty much kills the elasmosaur the same way as well. One Lyplurodon has had it. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that <laughs> is so good. Oh, okay. So, guys, we're going to leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed this video. We've shown all the aquatics so far. I can't wait for them to add more. I'd love to see a Megalodon and some other aquatic creatures that have, like, featured in games like Jurassic Park Builder and Jurassic World the game. Because, unfortunately, they're the only, you know, universal games that we've had that have had aquatic creatures until evolution. And... It's unfortunate that we can't have a giant battle arena like we normally do, but you know what? I'll take it. This is just as good. It's just a shame that we can't do it all at once. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.